our way to Sanibel Island to do some shelling. In 600 feet, turn right onto Periwinkle Way. We're here. So why come here? This is one of the best shelling beaches in the States. 14 miles of uh, beach area. We tried three different areas to find the shells in. Higher up in the dry sand, we find a lot of buried shells there. And also right along the uh, water line, see what washed up during the low tide. And also a few feet off the shore in the water, I snagged this uh, really cool uh, shelling rake and we gave it a try tonight when it's low tide. I use that to kind of scoop uh, the water's a little murky, so it's kind of hard to see in there. So anyway, you just scoop and see what you get. And who knows if you find a nice one. Another big attraction to the island are the white sandy beaches with the warm sunshine when you're freezing your butt up north. Here it is early April, uh, weather's in the low 80s uh, and a constant breeze. It's breezy here, but uh, it's kind of refreshing. So you might be wondering, when's the best time to come to Sanibel Island? The winter months from January to March are the best shelling time and also right after a storm, and of course at low tide. Uh, well, we hit one out of three. We got here at low tide. First thing you'll notice when you come here is the traffic can be brutal. Yeah, there's only one way on the island and off the island, and it kind of backs up uh, in the morning, during the day, and evening. Actually, the best way to get around the island is by bike. Let's hop on the bike take a little bike tour and check out the other beaches in the area. Small RVs. Five dollars an hour by meter. Okay, I think they check it too. place to rinse your feet off. That's nice. Bike like parking. About the same. Me parking. looks like. We do have shells here, but kind of similar. I'm heading down the road. Find any good ones? Not really. Yeah. 
find it fun if I could bend over anymore, but yeah. I can't bend over. <laughs> I know what you mean. Hey, I'm gonna head back. Headed down to check out the bird show. They have them a few times a week here, so let's see what it's all about. Oh, look at all the people. This is wonderful. This is my seventh from last show of the season. Uh, you can come back anytime and talk to the birds. They love it. Uh, I volunteer for six months, so I'll be heading back to Canada. I used to come here about 30 years ago. Birds' uh, wing feathers, or any feather, lives 10 months, and then it molts. That's why you see feathers all over the place. Cream feathers, head feathers. He would give you a scalp massage. Who hasn't had his turn? Here's some gorgeous head feathers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, give me a little wave if you haven't had a turn. Uh, the sun conure and, okay, I'm going this way. Uh, the cool birds I got here. Hello, buddy.